Hey, I'm Jake Brown. And I'm Sam Taylor. And we're both fans of All Fantasy Everything. Every week they draft different things. They, they'll draft anything. Breakfast foods, um, songs that make you want to fight, uh, whatever it is. This week they draft weird food combinations, as you can probably guess by some of the things on the table here. I'm you, scared. You seem at least <laughs> nervous, outright scared. Uh, I, I'm excited. I want to dig in and just really see if any of this checks out, because honestly, cooking it didn't feel good. Well, I'm, I'm excited about some of them. I took a Pepto-Bismol for the ones I'm less excited about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. What's first? All right, first up is Miel's number one overall pick, cheese and apples. This one doesn't seem that weird. This is a classic combination. This is like every fruit plate that you would get ever, and I can't believe that she got away with it, but kudos to you, Miel. I mean, obviously. <laughs> This is not a problem, but I, this is way too big of a bite. <laughs> oh. I really need to pace myself. I'm in for this combination. Miel likes pink ladies. We couldn't find any pink ladies, so we found Crips Pink. Mm -hmm. um, so shout out to Sean and all of your Crip family, but that was a winner for me. I do a fancier cheese. I think she said she likes the stinky cheese. I'm into that too. Okay, well, I did basic bitch cheese <laughs> and I basically loved it. <laughs> now is Miel's second pick is steamed broccoli dipped in mayonnaise. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not looking forward to this one. Well, remember, smaller bites. Smaller bites. All right, right. so good. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to hate this. This is kind of like white girl chicken. Yeah. I'm in. It's great. <laughs> What's great about it? There's like a, like a sourness to the mayo that... That's what your broccoli's been missing is tang? Yeah. It's got a good tang. I don't know if I'd oh, eat that wow. as a snack, though. I don't know if I would eat that ever again. Our third round pick, onions and pineapple. Do you want more or less onion? You're picking that up? Oh yeah, I'm just doing it like a little like a pineapple, like <laughs> pineapple a onion taco, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's gonna be like al pastor-esque. Oh, this is a winner. How do you... <laughs> just get in with your teeth? The teeth aren't sharp enough. Oh no! Now we have to go get our teeth sharpened. We forgot napkin. Oh wait. Oh, just, I'm getting dirty. I'm in. This is good. This is actually really good. Yeah, I'm down. Something about the caramelized onion. Oh yeah. When she said it though, I pictured like a raw ring of onion on top of a ring of pineapple and I was out on that. Okay, we'll try that next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, up next, maple syrup and tofu. So we did baked tofu, extra firm, and then just the worst maple syrup. This has been in the... Oh, it's very firm. Be careful. Oh my God, so crunchy. Is firm tofu that crunchy? I'm just really good at baking tofu. Okay. As I found out today. That's a win for me. Tofu is essentially just texture. It's kind of like a super chewy French toast stick. I'm not in. I don't, but it's not because of the tofu. I don't think I like maple syrup. <laughs> That's the objectionable part. My dorm room smelled like maple syrup for a couple months in college and I can't go back. Mm -hmm. International dorms with all the Canadians. All right, well, we're gonna move on to David Borey's picks, the G is silent on Twitter. Are you saving Sean for last? No, no, I'm doing these, no. Sean okay. definitely not. Oh that. God, because his are the scariest. <laughs> all right, so. David, his first overall pick was a Frosty and French fries. We've all had that, and we're not trying to go out to any fast food places. That'll come up again, so we're just going to skip that, but I'm giving it a thumbs oh, yeah. medium. What? Yeah, it's fine. It's, I think, a little overhyped. On the overrated, underrated scale, overrated. It would be better if it was a Frosty with better fries than Wendy fries. Sure. Old school Wendy's fries, not the, you know, hand-cut yeah. sea salt bullshit that they're trying to get away with. Uh, next, so second overall pick for David was ramen with ranch in it. And you just kind of gotta... And you pour it out the... But you gotta get rid of almost all of the broth and then... I'm already burping. Add ranch. Um, I'll get in first. Just I'll do the warning. Big bite. I think I'm gonna like this. I like ranch. 
I don't know if I put enough ranch in there. I think that's the problem. I'm in. That just kind of tastes like ramen. No, I'm in. I taste the ranch. Okay. <laughs> the herbs and spices. It's just a little extra seasoning. And some fell on the floor for the dogs. That's nice. Bonus. I would eat this. Like, I'm hungry enough to eat this right now. Okay, set that aside for later because we got to move on to his third pick, boiled potatoes and jam. We didn't have lingonberry or whatever he said, so we're doing strawberry preserves. What is lingonberry? It's a berry. Oh, do you do you want some? Yeah, I was good. I, hmm. Did I kill him back for seconds? I feel like I really needed to get the experience. That's fine. Again, starch and sugar work pretty well together. You're not. <laughs> you know why? Why? Hot fruit. Oh yeah, Sam hates hot fruit. All right, veto on the hot fruit. Um, then Jello and sour cream. So there are a lot of ways that this is created as like a fully formed dessert. But I don't have time to make an entire jello, let it set. That's not what I'm trying to do with my afternoon, so. Did he say what kind of jello? No, I don't think he did. I think okay. he, he, this is the part of the draft where David just has ennui about everything that's happening. What are we saying? <laughs> saying anymore <laughs> is, is feeling pretty disappointed in the decisions that they've made so this was kind of I, it almost felt like a throwaway pick but all right what do you think you go sour cream into jello yeah I don't think this is gonna be that bad well they're, they're getting in there. <laughs> Remember the like cream cheese jello strawberry thing I made? This is not that. Okay. <laughs> Does it need a pretzel? I don't know. It's somehow getting better? Go move of a mouth. Oh, you get to swish it in your mouth? Oh, oh, the sound is terrifying. I feel like if, I it, get was it. A, if it was a composed dessert where you had combined these things. Do you want well, to try to smoosh it in your mouth? No, <laughs> I'm not schmoozing. I, I get it. One, after a while, once it settled into my mouth, it was a little bit better. So far, this has not been as terrible as I thought it was. But now we get to Sean's picks, because um, we're gonna come. We're gonna do the wild turkey and <laughs> broth at the end. Yeah. Uh, to Sean's credit. We couldn't find the Ragu brand Alfredo sauce. Ooh, this one looks fancier. So yeah, I did try and go with the nicest one available uh, left on the board. This was one of the most controversial picks. Um, Do you want to give me half of that? I think you're going to eat the whole thing. Here, let me, let me roll it and then I'll break it this way. He said he's never done this in front of another person before, so... Oh god. <laughs> All right, cold Alfredo sauce on a tortilla. I'm it's, not excited about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's just fine. You're, I, I think the ratio is, like that's a big dipper. <clears throat> I'm not going for seconds. <laughs> I think maybe the quality of the sauce helps. I can see being drunk and eating it out of desperation <laughs> in my maple syrup college dorm room. <laughs> oh, it sticks with you. You do. I'm guessing you wake up feeling weird from that. Sean's second overall pick was KFC mash with honey from KFC. We're going to skip that. We're not going to KFC. If the transitive properties of starch and sugar hold true, that should be fine. Now we're going to move on to a pot pie with a third of a cup of soy sauce poured over it. We haven't had to use the spit thing yet, but I feel like this might be it. I don't it, like pot pie to begin with. <laughs> but this is just an aggressive... I'm not sure Sean knows how much a third of a cup of soy sauce is, but we're about to find out. Oh my god. That is so salty. Oh. Nope. Do I have to do it? Yes. Okay. You signed up for it. 
You gotta climb to the top of this mountain. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I need Sean to weigh in on how much he thinks a third of a cup of soy sauce is, because that hurts. Oh, it hurts me all the way through. I mean, if it was like a tablespoon, I could see it working, maybe. Because it's not like... It's just adding extra salt to a salty thing, right? That is salt on salt on salt. Oh, um... All right, I'm, I'm gonna palate cleanse with some ranch ramen. Oh, this I think you're gonna secretly oh, like. Wait, that's Sean's, next. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this Sean's fourth pick was a can of corn, microwave, and then you just squirt some yellow mustard on it. Can you say pepper? I don't think there's any. Pe I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that would involve seasoning on levels that he's not prepared for. I'm excited about this one. I love mustard. This is so gnarly. Oh. Oh. It's uniquely bad. Pepper would help. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, most things are great with mustard. I That's don't know about corn. Sweet vegetables with mustard. Good God. Oh. Alright, and then Sean's final lightning round pick. Are you sure? All right, Sean's final pick, microwave chicken nuggets, put it in some egg salad. I feel like it should, egg salad should be on top, like a little, like, crudité. Like that? Yeah. I love egg salad. I'm very excited. Here you go. I mean, this doesn't not need to happen. I feel like he said microwave chicken nuggets, right? Yeah. It's just like a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and just picture it's like rye bread with your egg salad. I'm in. Yeah, there's not much else going on. You just want to eat egg salad yeah, now. Egg salad. Our fourth drafter, Ian Carmel, who had the hot corner, uh, started off with a favorite of his. Ooh, I'm excited. Peanut butter and pickles. Please get in there, get started. Did you verify these are dills? These are dills. Okay. Because we don't, he doesn't like bread and butter, right? Sweet pickles are a deception. Now, we don't have the spear, so I'm gonna try and make a sandwich. Oh God. It wasn't that, there, it wasn't the pickles fault. Oh God. I kinda like it. Why? I don't know. Why? Oh. You know, it's very reminiscent of my peanut butter and cheese. Like a stinky cheese with peanut butter. That's very similar. Quit trying to get your picks in here. <laughs> I don't think vinegar and peanut butter belong together. Oh, ahead. that was... I think you could have gotten that later. All right, now we get a little palate cleanser of hot sauce and coffee. You can do it a lot of different ways. We only had sriracha, so... This is sriracha coffee. Sriracha. <laughs> no? It's hot. I put in too much, I think. That hits you. I mean, if bulletproof coffee is a thing, this could be a thing. I don't know why. Whoo! Just right in the back. Yeah, my whole mouth feels like it's... All right, not bad. That was a good comeback. His third pick was creamy scallop kiwi dish. Oh. I can't compose that. That's like a full restaurant thing. Uh, so we're just going to skip over that and presume it's fine. If you have an opportunity to eat scallops and kiwi, please go for it. That takes us to a, like a perfect thing for a big spicy coffee, which yeah. is saltines in mouth. So the idea is that you just get a couple saltines, you eat them, then we're gonna both drink some water and just let them really marinate in there. Wait, do you marinate and then the water, or the water helps them? Mmm.
I mean, like... It just kind of becomes, like, cracker paste. Yeah. Like, I remember doing that as a kid, but I don't know if I do it out of choice. Like, before it becomes the paper mache texture, it's kind of just, like, a lot of stuff floating around in your mouth, mm -hmm. which you feel, but then the water absorbs it. That's more of, like... That feels like ASMR for your mouth. <laughs> Where it's like, something's happening in there. Ooh. Now we get to do olive oil and vanilla ice cream. Here, B. All right, we have our pre-prepared ice cream here. The olive oil, please? Yeah, the olive oil kind of... Oh, okay. It's actually helpful. Yeah, it's just... It, Maybe that's one tip, is really let it settle in there so you get your globules all globbing. It looks like limoncello. I don't really, I, I can taste the olive oil for sure, but I don't know what it brings to the table. I can't taste it. It's subtle. Like, would I replace chocolate sauce with olive oil? No. Maybe we use too good of an olive oil. I <laughs> should have used shitty. Like, like, canola oil? Like, oh, that sounds even worse. <laughs> this is fine. This is like, I, I don't know why. It seems like just a way to get more fat in your fat. ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel overall confused about Ian's picks. Yeah, well, we're in the coffee. I don't know why you do that. I don't know why you do any of this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Um, all right, now we get to finish with... That's it? Ramen broth. Oh, did we... Shoot, good catch. We almost missed ketchup and popcorn. How are we going to do this? Like, dip it? Yeah. Nice okay. presentation of just the Sorry. bag of popcorn. Some ketchup on there. Okay. Kind of, I don't think I'm gonna want more than one, but we'll find out. Is this like when you're desperate for French fries? <laughs> That's kind of. <laughs> it kind of it has like that certain like je ne sais quoi of a French fry. Yeah. That's all I can think say. Okay, maybe it's <laughs> knockoff french fries. Okay, that takes us to wild turkey and ramen broth. We couldn't find any small wild turkeys and I'm not investing in a big 750 of wild turkey, so mm -mm. I asked him what other comparable shit bourbon he had. He recommended Old Forester, so. What are you gonna do first? Oh, you do, this is your chaser. You do the broth as a chaser. It's kind of like a pickleback. Oh. Makes sense. So, cheers. I really hate whiskey. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help much. Mm -hmm. No, you shuddered. You need. <laughs> no. <coughs> no. <laughs> You're chasing with some of the hot sauce no, coffee. No, I don't know what I can. Here, broccoli. <laughs> oh, have a healthy snack. Oh, that was aggressive. Out of all of this, I'm trying to think of what I would incorporate. Like, ranch ramen, oh. sure, that's fine. I usually have those things around if it's like a desperation thing. I think I could do more of the tofu like this, like some kind of dessert tofu. Okay. I don't know if like tofu has some kind of properties that are good for you, um, so maybe that. Otherwise, I feel like this is just a lot of foods that are made worse or different in a not positive way. I'm into pickles and peanut butter. Oof. <laughs> I think that was like one of my two spits. Mm. All right. Um, well, hey, that was it. And we realized that this looks like a tremendous waste of food. So we're going to make a donation in uh, the name of all fantasy everything to Food Bank of the Rockies. <laughs> Thanks so much for a hilarious episode, guys. I've been Jake. Sam, thank right. you.